today we're playing a game. We're gonna figure out which one of these five gamers is the actual fake gamer. That's right. I genuinely think I'm good at this. I can tell whenever I'm talking to people. They know I do gaming and they're like, oh yeah, no, I'm gamer too. I'm totally like, we're just the same. No, you're not. Don't even try. I love watching my brother play, blah, blah, blah. Then you're not a gamer. Oh, I love playing on my phone. Then you're not a gamer. Oh, I love playing on my Xbox. Not a gamer. Oh, I love speedrunning. Not a gamer. <laughs> just pathetic. Also, I said this before, but I remember back in my day, when I was young, I couldn't tell people I was a gamer. I would get judged, oh, pathetic, you fucking bait, you play games, you nerd. That's what it was like in Sweden. We had to hide it. I was a minority. <laughs> I was a, let, let, let me finish sentence. I was a minority of people that play video games, but were still cool. Yeah, I'll call myself cool. I don't care if that sounds cringe. Because there was the genuine people that were just like nerds, gamers. And then there was this minority of the finest specimen. I should stop talking. Alright, the point is, I walk so you can run. Now people are faking being gamers. To pretend. Pathetic. Anyway, start the video. Let's go. This is Jubilee, five gamers versus one fake gamer. And we can play along. I'm so excited. What is that? Is this tag hanging out? Alright, this guy is definitely a gamer because he has an unfunny shirt. <laughs> The one thing gamers love, it's unfunny shirts. They just can't get them out. I, I know a couple people watching this right now, and they're looking at it like, oh, God damn it. All right. <laughs> He's right. We brought together six gamers. I'm a gamer. And I'm a gamer. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Whenever I hear a woman say they're a gamer, I, it makes me laugh. I'm a gamer. I'm, I'm a gamer. I am a gamer. I'm a gamer. One is a liar. If the group discovers so who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. Oh, they get money. Hey, so there's incentive to actually do well. Well, I never actually watch these. I know they do a ton of them. I just wanted to see if I could spot a gamer, if really. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. What? So you're highly incentivized to maybe do a little, like, research and stuff? Because do they know what topic they're going to pretend to be? Surely they do. They're going to be like, oh, you, you might want to, like, come up with some ideas. Interesting. Yeah, quick question. If you're a real gamer, what is the clothes called? Oh, oh Tipo. I trust you. <laughs> That's some gamer bun. I trust you. <laughs> Applesauce. I trust you. Let's let's gauge the reaction of the other people here. Look at that guy. See, he's like that's some window shutdown face. He has no idea. He's either a terrible gamer or not a gamer at all. We have nothing happening here. This guy just looks confused. She's definitely a gamer because she's trying really hard to prove that she's a gamer. I trust you. <laughs> 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 right, what's your Steam ID? I love Blood Three Thousand. Everyone else got Steam? Wait, what? His Steam ID is I love Blood Three Thousand. If he's not a gamer, he's a f weirdo. What the? F <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's yeah. your Steam ID? Call this off. Luna, do you? Absolute unit with a picture of a buff King DDD. Double A three five seven. And my double A three five seven. These all sound really shit and made up. I'm gonna miss between the flower girl. Nice spicy chicken if you yeah. here with a picture of Lucy Bird. Ooh, yeah. my million spicy <laughs> chicken with a picture of Lucy Bird. All right, this guy's safe. He's safe. I guess right now I'm leaning between the people on the left. I'll be see that. I mainly play Overwatch. I play League of PUBG. PUBG. Okay. Oh, um, League. I'm a Oh, so I'm not a gamer. I'm just kidding. I'm, a, I'm like very into simulation games, so I play a lot of like The Sims. Um, I do variety, so I play League, but I also play everything from like Pokemon to Darkest Dungeon, Ooh. like anything really, okay. except horror. I like a lot of like 90s horror stuff, so right now I'm playing Haunting, just like, do you guys, are you guys familiar with Haunting? <laughs> play a 90s horror. Oh, I guess everyone else is not a gamer then, <laughs> they don't know Haunting, oh, that, that game, yeah. <laughs> so what happens now? So this is followers vote. So they think him, and then oh really? People think him. Interesting. You're toast, Anderson. And cut. Mark that one done in Monday.com. I run a business making funny videos. He gets Nola, then two on bribes. And Jessica. Another tie, yeah. <laughs> Thirty seconds to give a case for themselves.
What is this? Okay, so if any of you play Slenderman Day. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you know there are like 10 locations, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's like the blue pickup truck, the red pickup truck. <laughs> yeah. Like, the That's like the least thing. But <laughs> you know Slender, right? Yeah, yeah, I know about the blue and the blue and the red truck. Yeah, those. What the fuck? That's what you got out of that, that game? It got trucks in it. You know? It's like, yeah, I know my shit, okay? <laughs> I got no Gaming. That was his case? Alright, prove, prove to me you're a gamer. Alright, so like, the Slender games have like a blue truck and a red truck, so I risk my case. <laughs> what? Oh, you know what? You know what's a great way to figure out if someone's a fake gamer? Ask them, like, rate your favorite Dark Souls games. Or, or just Souls games in general and see what order they do. And if you pick Dark Souls 2 at the top, you just throw them out of there. Just like punch them in the face. That's how I would do it. Knowledge is very good when it comes to like being under pressure. Uh, I do know my League of Legends and my Diablo. My... What role do you play in League of Legends and what's your favorite champion? I like yeah. the AD carry and Ash usually. I also like Jinx. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I tend to play those. Um, a lot of farming. Uh, the turrets too. Uh, a lot of farming. Oh yeah, so the point of the game. I understand. Turrets. Turrets, remember turrets? You what is this? What mm -hmm. rank are you? As oh the, the season yeah. season nine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the season like just restarted. Master, master at best. Uh, <laughs> okay, alright. She did redeem herself a little bit at the end. Fair. Fair. Alright. Wow, she went out! <laughs> no! <laughs> that is so sexism. They're basically all saying women can't game, which I would never say, because that's bad to say. Back to the original question I asked before, where I said, uh, what's everyone's favorite video games? How about we just go around saying, like, when you first played that game? But, uh, me, Kingdom Hearts is my favorite video game ever. Like, huge part of my life. I love that game. Sora and Riku is my favorite. I even talked to This is, I believe this guy, because anyone that has Kingdom Hearts as their favorite game cannot shut the fuck up about it. So, I believe him. He's 100% clear. I This guy hasn't said much. I don't know much about him. <laughs> the reason why I got into League was because of my friends from another game. We're all transitioning over to League, and then ever since then, I've just been playing that with my girlfriend and her cousins. Well, my this guy is a gamer and has a girlfriend. Hmm. Hmm. All right. You just grew some suspicious points. My name is Pokemon Emerald. Like, I've been playing Emerald since I was a little kid. I remember I, I... I can't really see this guy just being like, ah, video games, I don't really have time for that. I just like to read a, a nice book. I can't really picture <laughs> The t-shirt is such a giveaway. Yeah, like, he's 100% clear. So far, this guy and this guy is clear. It took me seven years to beat uh, Battle Dome, and I remember being so excited that I... What the hell is Battle Dome? That's not even a game. That's a TV show, dumbass. That's a cool TV show. Battle Dome game Pokemon. It took him seven years to beat Battle Dome, the frantic pinball battle game. I respect that. I respect that. Pulled out the camera immediately and started taking pictures and posting it everywhere. Just huge moment right there. Okay, uh, for me, my favorite game would probably be Paper Mario. The very first time I saw the game, my brother played it and I, I loved it. My favorite game is until. Paper Mario is also a fair, like, that's another Kingdom Hearts type of game that people grew up on, so I believe that that's her favorite game. And my favorite game is Until Dawn, which we started playing in college. My friend Bree was playing it in her. Started playing it in college. His favorite game is Until Dawn. Alright, if he's a gamer, he's got no respect for me. It's a good game, don't get me wrong, but favorite game? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's disgusting. No game we respect at all. Favorite game? Until Dawn? See, I think this is this is it. Is that maybe I'm not so good at not sni at sniffing out the gamer, but I'm good at judging people from their taste in video games. If you <laughs> played it, I, I can't even count. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can't even count. You can't even count. I don't see anyone playing until dawn more than like five times. After that, it's like, why? Why the fuck would you? Can't even count. I'm smelling bullshit. So, uh, quick cross reference time. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Uh, First run, who died? I don't know that. I don't remember that. But my memory is terrible. But I do remember uh, some very th uh, 
big jump scares in the game. Does that save me? Oh god, I always- I- Whenever this is a lying game, I'm terrible at lying, basically. People always suspect it's me. For some reason, people suspect I do bad things. Uncle Tom, he dies first. Well, I know who the main character is. It's the guy from Robot. Uh, so he doesn't die first. I mean, if it's his favorite game and he's played it countless times, he should know that. That's pretty smart of her to ask, actually. Dying? Mm -hmm. Like, like the first person he died? Or like, All because a lot of people Okay, you died. know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I think, can't you change who the first person to die is? Isn't that up to you? Isn't that the point of the game? Who lived, then? Who lived who in my lived? first run? It was the couple, uh, the bitchy girl, who is, um, Fair. Veronica. And then... Veronica. Veronica. Veronica until dawn. Dude, there's no Veronica. There's no Veronica! Uh, until dawn. Dude, there's no Veronica. There's no Veronica! I played it countless times. No, 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 there's actually. There's Jessica. There's Hannah. She's totally violent. How about we go down? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Okay. What is the name of the monster? Well, I can tell you what it's like a bat creature. It's not a bat creature. What's the name of the monster? It's not a bat creature. They're not bats at all. They're not bats. Dude. No, You know these are all gamers because they just can't handle any confrontation here, like this girl, who's clearly like way more alpha than all of them. try to like butt in like hey let's move it but it was it was like a wall they're called wendigos by the way that's wendigos. right they yeah, are wendigos. all right she's totally bad. clear they're wendigos. and there's no veronica there's, there's no veronica. veronica i look it up i oh, promise yeah. you there's a veronica uh -huh. i guess like <laughs> if i was there i wouldn't be able to tell yeah <laughs> there's no veronica honestly my mind went blank when she asked me about like oh like about a character or something like i couldn't think of the characters' names. I can only think of like the actors and actresses. So when I said Veronica, I was there there's no, there's no actor called Veronica either. Ah, just a little shred of thought of me thinking, you know what? Don't do that. Don't make that hand sign. Women are not allowed. Women should not be allowed to make that hand sign. I don't appreciate that. Like it's hard being put on the spot. Don't overpay for Adidas. Wikibuy can save you money. It's a browser. Ex Describe Veronica. <laughs> She's lit, she has black hair, short black hair, she has a little mole right here, brown eyes, she's like the bitchy one, it's like, oh, like, she's like- That's the Asian oh. girl? Yeah. That is Ashley. Oh! <laughs> Who's the Asian girl in Until Dawn? Alright, let's see it. Yeah, Nicole hmm. Bloom. Alright, Emily. No, it's Veronica. Like, I don't know why you're trying he to He even tell sounds me, like, like he's lying. The okay. Well, they totally yeah. found him. His name is Josh. Josh oh my is God. the one, yeah, you know, Josh with the Oscar. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hannah Hen Panettiere. Her yeah. name is Sam. Je Damn, what, what a memory. Her name's Jessica. Her name is not Jessica. No, her name no, you said the Asian one was... Oh, wait, she said Veronica. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> I don't know why. No, Jessica like is the one with the pigtails. Oh. I don't know why. I'm in the hot seat, though, and you're the one who's clearly going to know what I'm saying. So, why not ask you some questions? Okay, ask, ask me about my... <laughs> What a gaming metaphor right here. The whole squad standing behind a woman oh calling okay, out yeah, a fake okay, gamer. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a thing I would never <laughs> see, I thought I'd see. Come on. Okay, did Let's you ever play Sonic Adventures 2? No. I Why aren't they helping her? You all win money, right? Oh, oh, okay. I, I know it's a good game, but I never had a, a Game Boy Advance, so. Never had a Game Boy Advance. Oh, 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 she never had a Game Boy Advance? Oh, oh, you know what? It's probably her. Okay. What? Okay, good. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get up. Your name is Veronica. <laughs> Veronica, okay. There is no Veronica in that game. Yes. Not even Nola? Yeah. Alright, you don't- It's definitely- Um, how about, cool question. Okay. What, 
What is the last game you guys bought? Like the latest one you just bought? Oh, what was the last game that I bought? I'm gonna have to come back to that because I haven't bought a game in a while. I have, I have Humble Bundle, so I get like a b bundle of games like every month. Do you know what the last game you got? Like from that Humble Bundle? Uh, the last game I got from the Humble Bundle, let's see, I got Slay of the Spire, which was like maybe That's very two months specific. ago. I haven't checked this recent month yet. Um, but yeah, Slay of the Spire, I got that one. Wait, what? You- They voted her out? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? These guys vote her out after this fucking scene? Hey! Alright, let's see who it is. Wish you didn't have to pay full price for Xbox gear? Wikibuy can help with that. It automatically compares Amazon's- <laughs> it's definitely the guy that looks like a, sh uh, a school, uh, and the guy on the line. I know it! <laughs> they voted her out after she discovered him. You don't deserve that money, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a mystery on the Hermit Craft server in today's third episode, and it's not who's been stealing everybody's crops, or where have all the parrots gone, or even who has the best hobbit hole on the server. The biggest mystery that I still don't know the answer to to this very day is why this arrow is flying in this bamboo. And I thought, oh, okay, this is just a bug. Magic flying arrow doesn't do anything. But no, this has been here all week since the server started. This has been flying right here. So just to prove it, I'll disconnect and reconnect. Boom, still there. Mystery arrow, what are you? I've literally never seen this before. I also don't want to destroy this bamboo. This bamboo is sacred. I think if this gets removed, if it gets touched, this this arrow might go away. So uh, we'll leave a sign telling people, arrow of mystery, do not touch. Super weird. Looks like Scar has been busy, he's added a chimney to his snail. He hasn't removed the moustache, so that must mean that he, uh, he improves. Anyway, let's crack on with today's episode because I've actually been making quite a bit of progress and I want to continue working on my hobbit hole. I've been thinking... What the heck is this? Whoa! <laughs> what is this? If you're such a hobbit, then you'll love this Mordor. Mordor! <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Oh, okay, I, I didn't see it. That's meant to be the Eye of Sauron right there. And this is Mordor. It's kind of got a. It's kind of got a team going on. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that today. But he must have done this while I was sleeping, because look, I've made some... Uh, yeah, i got to stop this. i got to stop the noise. How do I... Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Uh, let's go around the back. Oh, they're all on individual timers. <laughs> well played, Mumbo. Well played. Oh my goodness. What? Oh. oh man, I'm afraid that that doesn't quite fit with what I was going for. I'm gonna have to build over there later, so I'm gonna have to remove the more door, but I think we need to keep like a little museum of this because this is amazing. So yeah, as you can see, I was looking at this last episode and I was saying that there's some issues that I couldn't quite put my finger on. And it was this, it needed some windows either side of it and then sort of more grass on the top. So, the little hobbit hole is coming along quite nicely, but there's actually, uh, there's a lot more work that I want to do to it. And I want to get cracking on all the stuff on the inside as well. Lots and lots of progress that needs to happen in today's episode. But first, I think we need to, we need to take down, um, the, the Eye of Sauron, and the, the, the Mordor Tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. So why don't we kick off today's episode with a really quick time lapse of some improvements to the hobbit hole and we'll take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> Let's get on with it.
So unfortunately, the more door had to go, and that's because it needed to make way for some more Hobbit Hole action. Now, just above the main door, I edited that window into the enchanting room because it just didn't quite feel right. I added birch into everything else, and that was still sitting there with spruce. The other thing I did was sort of shaved off a lot of the cliffs, so they're not just sheer steepness, they actually have that Hobbit Hole smoothness over the top a really nice hill which i'm building over the top of this bit here and on this bit i wanted to create something more curved and organic looking to sort of match how don't miss a moment live tv from 70 plus channels youtube tv start streaming now by 2050 there will be more plastic than fish in the oceans there are 18 billion pounds of plastic weight. How the shape of the hill goes, but around a corner. And all in all, I think it's come out pretty, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how this has come out, actually. It's almost going to become a Hobbit city. Hobbit holes are meant to be, you know, simple. They're meant to be like basically that one on a hill, but I'm turning it into something like a fortress. But I'm enjoying where this is going and I feel like I'm definitely not done yet. I could maybe add a bit more colour in, a bit more to this colour scheme, add a bit more trees. But you'll see, I've got a room round the back here because I know that we've just done a time lapse, but I essentially want to get a lot done in a very short amount of time. I need to start making this a bit more productive. While I started working on this, I discovered literally the biggest cave when I was uh, doing this. So. I mean, this is dangerous. He took a while to explode there. It's a little bit dangerous in here, but do you know what? This actually might save me a huge amount of time. I could use this space as a mob farm because, well, I won't have to mine out nearly as much as I would normally. So I'll create my cactus farm. Maybe next episode we can work on a, uh, a mob farm somewhere along the line. This could be really, really good. I actually have a little I'm a little scared to go over there. That's a lot that's a lot of glowing stuff. <laughs> so anyway, let's crack 